Hey everybody. Hi everybody. Welcome to, what are we? This is Dan and Cindy on location sunsets with Dan and Cindy <laughs> on Liberty Square. Independence Hall, if you'll see behind you there, our cameraman is panning, <laughs> aka Jay, Jay Rouse, Rouse, with us, our musical director. <laughs> but we're going to put several video vignettes, if you will, together. Dan and Cindy's got a, a new thing we're going to try this we're week. We're going to try. My, our eight-year-old grandson told us how to use iMovie. Yes. So we're going to try that and give you little highlights from all over Philadelphia. What you see behind us is the stage on Independence Square that Sandy, along with uh, tell them some of the folks going to be well, here. Well, Judy Collins. And? Both sides now. Yes, the voice of and Mulan. Leah Salonga, who is the voice of Mulan, and yes. Jasmine. Uh, Paolo uh, Scotes is a Brazilian baritone. Yeah, a David cast. Archuleta. It's going to be a wonderful event I that know. is PBS. Yeah, for Thanksgiving. Yes, but so we'll give you vignettes. And tomorrow, but again, this is sort of ground zero where we'll be over the next couple days. Tomorrow we'll come to you from the big red bus. <gasps> Uh, and Rachel, a, mm -hmm. just for you. 90 minute tour, 29 stops, coming to you live, Dan and Cindy weekend in Philadelphia. Hey everybody. Hi everybody. Dan and Cindy. We are here on the big red bus here. You can yeah. kind of see. This is us. We're going to head out for about a 90 minute tour mm -hmm. of 29 key places of this city of brotherly love, Philadelphia. So we'll try to give you some of the highlights. It's a 90 minute tour, 29 stops. Again, Independence Hall was where the I don't second. I think the Eagles Stadium is one of those. Right? I don't think so. That would be so But you can fun. see, I know it, absolutely. <laughs> But our Declaration of Independence was signed here and our U.S. Constitution in Independence Hall. So we'll try to get some photos of that. It's going to be a great, uh, great show today. Okay. I think it is. We're going to have lots of segments and hopefully, um, as our grandson, Thatcher, who's eight, says, Nani, you can do this. So we're going <laughs> to try to put a little eye movie together. Coming to you live. <laughs> Philadelphia, city of brotherly love. Dan and Cindy. What did you say? I don't know. <laughs> As the tallest statue standing on top of the building anywhere in the world. That is the statue of Philadelphia's founder, William Penn. If you were to put his eyes to the ground, he would land in Penn Treaty Park, where he signed a peace treaty with the land of the nine Native Americans. And, long story short, the walls are 12 inches thick, marble, limestone, and granite, so there's 134 in window air conditioning units in the building as well, because 1902, no central air, no central view. That's also a Guinness Book of World Record. Wow. That's awesome. This is coming to your life. This is our stop. Is love part <laughs> Here we are. Here we are. So yeah, right. we're trying to work it out. All right. That's Rocky. That happens a lot at the Philadelphia Museum of Art. It's a very popular workout space, mainly because from Rocky, Rocky, ran up a bunch of steps. We're here. I could absolutely. We ran from South. I could run those steps up here. We ran from Kensington, but we're going to South in five minutes, which is we're going to stay on the bus. But again, coming to you live, Rocky Balboa steps. 
literally had to be running like 30 I miles an hour the entire uh, time. Like we never talk like about I that. I could do that. We just talk about the fact that you're still in the fight now. I think you're good. You're not the same way class at all. It's good. We'll come back. We'll come back. There you go, Shawnee, right here. Original Philly cheesesteak coming at you, baby. It went in Philly. Went in Philly. Philly cheesesteak. Ready? Okay, here we go. Hot. So good. No Philly. Getting ready. This is Dan, Dan, and Cindy getting ready for a quick rehearsal as part of our video for Dan and Cindy. Sunsets from Philadelphia. I'll give you a little sneak peek of Cindy's warm up for how great thou art coming right at you. Oh Lord, my God, when I in awesome wonder consider all, all of the worlds thy hands have made. Hey everybody. Okay, well here we are. It is almost showtime. We're in front of Independence Hall in Philadelphia. Um, it's almost showtime because the shoes have not officially gone on. But uh, they're warming up the crowd. Warming up the crowd. Um, this will be for PBS for New Year's Eve. Yes. I think I said earlier in one of the videos it was for Thanksgiving, but it's New Year's Eve. And I just got to meet Judy Collins. Judy Collins. Those sides. Yes. It was amazing. So we're getting ready for a fantastic evening. Well, let me say, she looks fantastic. I just love playing dress up with this gown. I'll try to get some video. I sent you, we'll try to post a little bit. Uh, of the performance, I don't know if we're allowed to do that or not. I say we get forgiveness and not yeah. permission. <laughs> right, so there'll be some <laughs> snippets. But again, she's going to sing How Great Thou Art tonight and also Love in Any Language. So we'll do a little bit from the show, but we've had a great day. Hope you've enjoyed the show today. Dan and Cindy live from Philadelphia. Yep, all right. See you a little bit. Hey, thanks for touring with us through uh, Philadelphia. It's been a really great couple of days. and It's been a great couple of days. And we hope that you've enjoyed this uh, take on the Dan and Cindy on location, which mm -hmm. that's really the dream that we have. We'd love to come 
coming to you live this week from Philly, All but right. it could be the Pacific Coast Highway. Next time you got to run up the steps like yeah. Rocky. You okay. Go, dun, 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 you know, but thing. I felt it. I felt it today. <laughs> I felt like I could do it. And, uh, but that's the dream for us. It could be the Grand Canyon, the Pacific Coast Highway. It could be up in the Northeast when the leaves turn, right? Good. Right? And we're not opposed to anybody like being our sponsor. Yes. If you're all. out there watching and would like to help that happen, <laughs> like RV, yes, right? Yes. Um, we've even said Tums. Yes. <laughs> you know, Prilosec. Some of whatever. the things that we just hold so dear. Speaking of holding dear, yes. let's ramp up with a Canizo moment. And I can't think, Cindy, looking at Independence mm -hmm. Hall, overlooking Independence Square, mm -hmm. and we holding these alienable rights that do we even speak like that anymore? But it, it calls us in this country we have the opportunity to live well and to have a well-lived yep. life. That's that's the heartbeat of our country. It's the heartbeat of Kenitsa as it's, well. I think my favorite part of the Declaration of Independence is yes. the very first sentence. We hold these truths to be self-evident or obvious. Right? All humans are created Equal. It's the bottom line. If we could start there oh. and lead with love, so much of what's that's, happening in our world. Right? That's the intersection of yeah. wisdom and hope yeah. right it, there. It definitely Well, definitely that's is. our Canizo moment. I hope you've seen it and we felt it. And uh, we'd love for every one of you to come to Philadelphia. There's far more art. Didn't you feel that? Today? Well, there is. So every building that goes up. Yes. 1% yes. of the cost has to go to art. For the arts. So even though the Eagles fans are wild and crazy, <laughs> yes. there is more art in this city than I, in many cities across I'm the country. I'm blown away. Every American mm -hmm. should visit Philadelphia yeah. to see where our Declaration of Independence and the Constitution were adopted, let's say argued. Mm -hmm. There was bold, uh, it rigorous. It was signed actually, what date? It was signed on the 2nd, but announced on the 4th. Mm -hmm. So John Adams wrote to his wife saying, this second day of July will go down in history, but it was announced the 4th, 4th day of July, 1776. That's another I digress. Mm -hmm. But let's uh, close thank, out. Thank our production out. team. Yes. Our Jay Rouse. Jay Rouse production <laughs> team. Wow. And we want to remind you tomorrow, join mm -hmm. in 930 Central, 11 Central, and you will see the man holding this camera, yep. Jay Rouse. Jay Rouse, playing the piano. He is another artist in residence at Crossings <laughs> Community Church, as is Sandy. Yep. And Marty, let me say this. Marty is doing a series on the most powerful message yep. still after 2,000 years, the Sermon on the Mount. Yep. So remember so crossings.church. Mm -hmm. And anything else you want to know, put a slash and in info, mm -hmm. and it's there for you. Uh, join us again tomorrow. And... Um, I think we should close with the Pledge of Allegiance. Okay. Kind of as our prayer? As our prayer. All right. I'll, I'll trust let's, your gut on that. Let's pray. I pledge allegiance, allegiance to, to the, the flag, flag of the United States, States of America and, and to, to the, the republic, republic for which it stands, stands one nation under God, God indivisible, with, with liberty, liberty and justice for all. all. Thanks for joining Amen. us this week. That was good. Well, coming from Philly, it mm -hmm. felt right. Yep. Remember to join us next week, 7.30 Central, 8.30 Eastern, 9.30 in Brazil, back in the Pacific, 5.30, and in Australia. Tomorrow. <laughs> Thanks, Thanks everybody. Thanks for joining. Hey, cameraman, feel free to pan on over to the Independence Hall. That's it. And then close yeah. it out. And though